So hi everyone, good morning. I am having a cuppa with Martin Sampson and he is in Australia and I'm excited to introduce you to him. Um, last spring we met and we traveled to Uluru in Australia together on the full moon and Martin is just an incredible source of wisdom, of sacred science and he's gonna be joining us for Love Lives Here. So I'm just gonna simply hand it over to you, Martin, and um, just share how love is living here within your heart and how um, what you're offering is such a beautiful pathway to this evolution of love, which you're gonna to speak to. Yeah, morning, Shelley. Uh, it's actually good <laughs> evening here. It's 10 o'clock in the evening in Australia. And um, so I'm not going to have a cup of tea. I'll probably have a glass of water before I go to bed. But yeah, we, we had a great time out there at Uluru. And it was just to sort of let everyone know that what we did around that area was a touching in of a, of a whole sacred sites journey that I take people on, which I've called the, um, the dreaming of the cosmic child or the cosmic child dreaming which is about traveling through the outback landscapes of South Australia and just tuning in to allowing the landscape to awaken this cosmic child within ourselves, which you know, I've, I think is very much to do with this theme of love lives here and the themes that are being lived through the, in these 40 days. Um, one of the ideas within my sort of areas of research is or or that of my interest is the idea of the evolution of love so that might sound like a, a radical idea but if we sort of look at the evolution of the planet and the evolution of the human being all of our faculties together are also changing and growing and we can assume that just because we we love people we know how to love but I think when we really take a closer look, we haven't yet fully become to haven't fully come to realize our humanity, and we certainly haven't learned how to love in a complete way yet. So there's still a journey for us, the planet, the creatures on the planet, the spirit, humanity, all together to evolve higher faculties of this capacity. So. I'm very interested in, in sort of as human beings participate in evolving love. So love for ourselves is the first theme, love for other, love for the, all creatures on the planet and love for the spirit and the sacred in things. So each of these faculties is changing and it's not necessarily becoming easier in our times because we live in, in the fast lane, so to say, if that's the phrase. And it becomes tough to, to learn how to go beyond the places where we can love safely and, and extend ourselves as, as a way to participate in evolution. So that's kind of where I'm, I'm, I'm sort of exploring things at the moment. Thank you. Um, I'm excited that um, I was guided to connect and reconnect with you and um, that we're going to have an opportunity to really um, taste and experience this evolution of love because many of us here um, are really aware of that that movement that consciousness and to go deep yeah. in that immersion um, so I, I'm excited and so just for everyone who's listening um, Martin's going to offer a, a four theme series and uh, you'll have that opportunity to go deeper and we're even musing with uh, a journey to go to Australia yeah, uh, maybe next that would be lovely time. if we could get a group of people. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and uh, it was so powerful being with you in Uluru. I mean, that was just incredible. The, um, you know, the, the, the sacral chakra of the earth and being at that red rock and being there under the full moon. And I, I can just only remember one thing, which was you just kept in, inviting us to listen deeper. Yeah, yeah. And I think, yeah, I think that's a very important quality in our time is, is we are so full. We have so little space between events. We, we find it more and more difficult and the world, you know, does not let us, does not let up on us 
being busy. So finding time to stop and listen. I suppose I've called it slowing down to the speed of nature. I think that was, yeah. You know, let's slow down to the speed of nature and, and learn to attune to ourselves and just find out, you know, what level of, of love do I have for myself? Is it still completely self-serving or completely self-effacing? Or how can I learn to, to evolve better, better levels of, of love that will, will allow my compassion and my, 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 my wishes for the world to, to come from a great source of the heart? Mm. Um, so I guess would be the great starting place.